Hi, everyone. Wanted to talk for a second about an issue that came up today that we thought might be important for everyone to, to know or to understand. Um, we wrote an offer today, Melissa wrote an offer today for a client she's been working with for some time now, and they're a cash buyer. Um, the property is in East Hollywood, and they're buying it for a secondary home for their family. Um, when we made the offer, we found ourselves explaining in pretty good detail why we felt it was important to have, even though it's a cash contract, to have the appraisal contingency inserted. Or even, even better than that, what we'll oftentimes do is uh, counsel someone to, even though they want to make a cash offer, maybe just write it partially with a mortgage contingency. This is a $425,000 purchase. We've got a $100,000 mortgage. Um, on the contract, on the offer. Now they don't need that $100,000 mortgage, but the simple fact that there's a mortgage contingency in the contract protects them in a couple different ways, mostly by the appraisal. Oftentimes people think that if they're making a cash contract or if you're a seller and a cash offer comes in, that you believe or you feel that the appraisal value is not important and that couldn't be further from the truth. Whenever you're making a purchase of real estate, you always want to have uh, a second opinion, like going to a doctor, a second opinion like an appraisal. Um, we want to make sure that the value is, that we're paying for our property is, is, uh, makes sense with other comparables. And the only way to get that done is to either insert an appraisal contingency or easier, insert the financing contingency and actually use a mortgage in some cases. Now, if you put a mortgage offer on, uh, like we did, on this $400,000 deal with a $100,000 mortgage, real simply by addendum, later on down the road prior to closing, we can remove that mortgage contingency and convert to all cash. But in the meantime, we still have that protection device, we still have the bank sending someone out, we still have a third party looking at it to establish the value being correct. Um, so we felt it was important to make sure that everyone, either a buyer or seller, realized that even if it's a cash offer or a cash contract, you want to have a financing contingency or at least an appraisal contingency in to protect yourself. Otherwise, you could very simply be overpaying uh, if you're a buyer. And uh, as a seller, I think it's really important to realize that if a cash offer comes into you, um, that's not any way to think that you're going to get more than market value for your home because most buyers, we hope, will want to put uh, an appraisal contingency in anyway. So just felt it was necessary for you to realize that. That's how this offer went together, and we're presenting it later this afternoon. We'll let you know later on how the offer went and probably involve you in the uh, inspection phase and, um, and other things as the transaction unfolds. Thanks.